This is Gavin from Lenovo Social. We'd like to welcome you to the unboxing, quote unquote, of our brand new ThinkPad X130e. This is a, a product that's going to take ThinkPad tough and ruggedness uh, to a new level. Um, and uh, we'd like to welcome, uh, as always, our Lenovo product ambassador, Kevin Beck. Kevin. And uh, also, special guest, uh, Jarrett York, who's the ThinkPad product manager for North America. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Good to have you guys here. Thank you. Um, I might turn it over to Kevin up front um, and, uh, and just let him show you guys. We don't even have a box yet, so he'll do the ceremonial uh, uh, mock cutting of the uh, top of the box. Of the tape. Fabulous. And then Kevin, show us this thing. Okay. Um, we'll get a little more into some of the design philosophy and the rationale behind this product in a few minutes, but just want to take you through it. Uh, it's an 11.6 inch, uh, what would traditionally be called a netbook class uh, size product, but we're going to very much stay away from that term because we've designed this, uh, in fact, to meet or exceed all of our standard ThinkPad design parameters, and we'll go a little bit into that why, uh, the why of that later, but uh, this is something that we built with a lot of direct feedback from K-12 through educators. It's something that's uh, good for anybody, but specifically focused on meeting the needs of education. So let me just close this down here briefly, and we'll do the standard walk around. We've got our uh, SD card slot, our first of our uh, USB ports. Uh, which are a bit recessed because we've added extra strengthening for the side-to-side -side up and down flex on these ports so that if anything's plugged in and a cord gets kicked, right, we've actually amped that up above and beyond our normal standards based okay. on education feedback. Our second uh, standard USB port, that one is yellow, so it's powered, continues to be able to charge a phone or some external device from that, okay. uh, some devices anyway, uh, depending on how much power they draw. Got our uh, power uh, plug there, our all-important uh, lock slot. Uh, in the back here, you'll notice that this is a, uh, a six cell battery, which does fit flush. So we've got nothing sticking out, no additional flex or uh, stress to be put on the system from that. Uh, our standard VGA monitor out, our cooling fan, HDMI, the third USB port, ethernet port also strengthened, and uh, our headphone jack. Great, I like, the, uh, I like the fact that the battery doesn't jut out. I know in the past we have had some six cell batteries mm -hmm. that, uh, that stick out. Um, and Kevin, uh, let's let's jump right into uh, some mm -hmm. of the things that make this tough. Um, we we took feedback from somewhere upwards of four million students, mm -hmm. uh, and we made uh, about ten design changes or improvements right. uh, for this thing based on uh, changes from the X120e that came before it, I guess. Uh, but tell us about some of the things we we were joking before we started filming about yeah. um, how you know. Uh, middle school students or you know K through 12 students mm -hmm. it's one of the most brutal audiences on the planet they can abuse a computer uh, more than you know storm chasers and military people exactly uh, so talk to us about some of these uh, changes okay uh, I'll go for the first through uh, through the first few and then uh, turn it over to uh, Jared I'll take the easy ones and let you uh, let Jared <laughs> do the hard ones uh, so again based on feedback from these large constituencies of uh, uh, students but you know ultimately through their teachers and their CIOs and just you know paper studies uh, that we've done with K through 12 and education CIOs that ruggedness and the ability to to actually withstand the uh, the rigors of an education environment uh, one of their key drivers in choosing uh, a machine to use so one of the things that we did is we we went with our newer island style you know also known in the industry as a chiclet style keyboard um, it makes it much more difficult for anything to get up under the keys and pop them off. So it's uh, you know ultimately a, a more durable and long-term reliable type of keyboard. You'll notice it's difficult to see here, but we actually have a, uh, a rubber bumper all around the case here, which actually let us take our corner drop testing even above what we do with uh, some of the other ThinkPads to a higher level to make sure it could withstand those uh, rigors. Uh, 33% stronger, I believe, Jared, is, uh, is what right. we actually tested to. What does that literally mean when you say a corner drop test? What do they, they literally stand there and drop this thing from various heights? Right, so the standard testing for a notebook is done. There's flat drop, right, which is system closed, just drop from a height, and you pull the pin out and the thing slams flat down, uh, which lets you test the durability and resistance to vibration of some of the internal components. Okay, sure. But for testing the actual, uh, you know, re more real world realistic scenario of how it's dropped out of somebody's bag or their hand, we dropped it on all eight external corners. So it's four sides, it's thick. Really? So take it up to a certain height and drop it on all eight sure. external corners. <laughs> and uh, Something which the average, you know, school kid is going to do anyway, day to day, right, I assume. So. Right. Uh, so we've increased the strength of the bezel, okay. and uh, then I'll, I'll let Jared talk about it. We actually increased the strength of the hinges as well. Okay. 
How's that work? Well, <clears throat> a lot of students love to open and close things quite frequently, especially when they're going from class to class. <clears throat> and what we've done is we have actually strengthened the hinges up to 30,000 cycles. So that is pure ThinkPad reliability for you right there. We actually tested it at 50,000 and determined that 30,000 hinges, uh, 30,000 cycles on the hinge works right. very but, well for education. Yeah, I think the, uh, the figure that I heard is that even above and beyond business, your average student is somewhere between six and seven times uh, opens and closes their PC potentially six or seven times more often than even a, a, a business user does. So, sure. so even if we're if I'm if I'm in the office one day, I may go to a few meetings, but I'm usually carrying the thing open anyway when I go to a meeting. But yeah, if you're going right. from class to class, six or eight classes a day, mm -hmm. uh, and hopefully you're doing your homework at night as well. Right. Then, uh, that's quite a few opens mm -hmm. and closes. What else are we missing here, Jared, so, on the uh, on the the uh, ruggedness and design? So, in addition to that, uh, as Kevin pointed out, where you see the ports have been recessed. Now we did that because primarily a lot of times kids, whether they mean to do it or not, stick foreign objects in the ports. <laughs> and uh, we've also strengthened the ports behind the recession uh, of the ports. Pro before they were flat and flush against the machine and it was easy to get things caught in there. Yeah. Children are very curious and mm -hmm. they like to see what happens if they stick things in, in holes. And so we've strengthened it so that that will not be one of the uh, larger claims when it comes to repairs. So we want to keep kids studying and keep kids uh, learning. Another thing that we've added is the APS always on. Now you all are familiar with the APS, the uh, hard drive protection. It the works as protection a system, right? Okay. Yeah. Works as a uh, as an airbag for the air, for the uh, hard drive, and so what it does is it detects the difference between normal drops and uh, damaging drops. And so with that being said, we have it set to where you cannot turn it off. Right. So it's always on. Uh, you don't have to think about it. It, it adds to the carefree element uh, for protection, extra ruggedness. Another thing is the mil specs. And we're all familiar with the eight mil specs. How uh, would you say baked, burned? Yeah, baked, yeah. battered, and blistered, yes. blown with dust. You know, we, we freeze them, we bake them, we, yes. we abuse think pads. Yeah. Hot, before cold, you do. stress from hot to cold right. rapidly. Sure. Uh, altitude, all of the standard eight that we put our, uh, we our normal, our, all of our classic we throw think a pads cream through. pie at it. Is yeah, that right? exactly. <laughs> yeah. So we've, we've done that and we've added, again, like Kevin mentioned, yep. the uh, rubber bumper, we've actually added extra thickness to the bezel. So that yep. way we do not damage uh, the LCD panel. So we've done a whole lot of research to make sure we've knocked out those issues. And we're, worth noting that, again, the reason we did this is we had feedback from, from roughly 4 million uh, students. Mm -hmm. um, and we also you know, know from our own research and data that uh, students are four times as likely as humans, as I was saying, I'm kidding, of course, but four, four times as likely as, as non-student users to have an event or an accident that, that leads to a repair. So, we, you know, with that in mind, we built this. Having said that, Kevin, we're, we're not just selling this to large school systems um, and, and people like that. We're, 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 this is a, a, a statement for anybody who needs a durable laptop. Is that right? Absolutely. Um, you know, just to sort of place this in the historical continuum, we started out in this line with the X100, uh, something on the close order of a couple years ago, mm -hmm. because the market and people were looking at, and there was obviously a lot of popularity around the, the netbook class product. And uh, you know, while we did have some traditional classic net netbooks in our consumer line, we wanted to build something in a ThinkPad line uh, that sort of took it to the next level that had a lot of what business and education users needed that just weren't found in the traditional sort of uh, you know perceived to be almost disposable type netbook. And this really, I guess, uh, you know, comes this is uh, our fourth iteration, fourth generation in this form factor, right. uh, and we've uh, gotten, I think, very much to a point where uh, this is meeting or in some cases actually exceeding uh, the specs and the uh, toughening and strengthening of ports and things like that that we're doing in the classic sure. ThinkPad. Uh, but the good news, uh, which I think is your ultimate point, is that since it is designed for a rougher and tougher audience, is uh, you get something for a very attractive price point, which is... Yeah, I think it's starting around 469 in the U.S. Don't quote me on that. There's different configurations, but right. yeah, again, it's it's got so much more function than what's traditionally been known as a netbook. and. Uh, 
But um, and we should also acknowledge the weight of this thing. It's um, with a six cell battery, it's somewhere around three point nine pounds. Right. Um, uh, you know, one point seven eight or so kilograms. Mm -hmm. um, and again, this is with a six cell battery. But but we're not. We're you know, if you're looking for thin and light, we have other things like our X two twenty or right. our IdeaPad U three hundred S. This is this is a beast. This is meant to be a tank, right? Right. And you know, just to to go back and reiterate the points that you know, this is a full ThinkPad in terms of. Uh, fulfillment and warranty capabilities and serviceability, also full function, uh, keep me honest on this, uh, Jarrett, uh, available with AMD processors and Intel processors. That is correct. Up to an i3 on the Intel side. Yes. Uh, with uh, support for 8 gigs of RAM. That's right. Right. Uh, full assortment of hard drives uh, up to 320, 500 uh, gig and hard SSD. drives and SSD drives. and. Uh, full OS capability, right? A lot of your netbooks in the earlier days were limited to some uh, very restricted versions like you know Windows 7 Starter Edition and things basic, like this, right. basic editions. Mm -hmm. This will be available with up to and including full Windows 7 Pro. 64-bit uh, and 32-bit. 64-bit and 32-bit support. So you get a great price point and a really durable product uh, that fits the use case and scenarios that a lot of people looked to netbooks to uh, uh, to fill, sure, uh, but much, uh, much more a, t a traditional ThinkPad. Yeah, you know, okay. obviously has the track point, has the track pad, the click pad, right. And uh, so we think, in terms of functionality and design, uh, it's just a whole lot of machine for that price point. Good. Really, and it's also good to note that this is actually a full-sized uh, keyboard. A lot of the other um, form factors from our competitors will have maybe 96 or 97 percent. Uh, full-size keyboard, but this is a hundred percent full-size keyboard here, mm -hmm. and keep in mind it is spill resistant, uh, so it will withstand a lot more than most of our other competitors as well. Mm -hmm. Good points, and uh, you know ThinkPads long known not only for their durability and ruggedness, but for their keyboard. We've won a heap of awards for uh, design, the ergonomic comfort of keyboards, and that type of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, I think we've hit the major points today. I'd ask all of you guys watching to uh, you know check Lenovo.com for more details. Um, and uh, guys, thanks for being with us today. All right, excellent. Thank, Thank you very you. much.